Then you decided to run for council, right? So let's talk about that. Why did you want to run for council and what was your goal? Um, my goal was to serve the people of Kansas City and to solve the hard problems in the 4th District. And what are the hard problems in the 4th District? Homelessness. Homelessness. Um, affordable housing. We are just bleeding affordable housing. Right. Um, you know, we, we, we sometimes don't support small business the way that we should. I mean, right. I say all the time we don't. But I mean, sometimes it's just like we let, we let corporate America come in and just like, you know, without like questioning like how does this affect people in our community you yeah, know like, how can we work together i think that's true but looking at the airport there's a lot of small businesses that cut yeah. deals in that airport there right are. yeah yeah like every every that was, a, that was a very controversial but you know ultimately you know um you know successful for them that campaign right. and um you know there's Standing up a new airport is hard, and we've had a lot of, you know, lessons learned doing something for the first time in any of our lives, right? right. Nobody who's doing that from here has ever done that before because the last airport was built, what, in the 60s? And so, you know, but it hasn't been perfect, no, but, you know, I think that over time, you know, we'll have wins in there and, you know, hopefully have lots of good representation of the authenticity of Kansas City you know, found in the, the food and the experience that's being curated there. So you wanted to come in, um, help people out, get homelessness uh, eradicated. Um, you ran a, you fought a hard campaign. Eradicated is a very ambitious word. I mean, of course we all want that, but I had concrete plans to make a big difference. Okay. Let's talk about those. Well, so essentially when we opened the Bartle Warming Center, which was done with like no money, it was basically done on the backs of volunteers with a bunch of promises that probably are still not fulfilled to this day. Right. Um, but we did what was asked, which was to build a warming center out. And we did that and we organized it. And I mean, it was, it was so stupid how political it was. Right. You know, but I mean, at the end of the day, I got to, I was there for like, you know, two months. We were, I was, would get off at City Hall, go to Bartle, stay until sometimes two in the morning, just figuring out what they were needing. And I was just trying to think about how I could be helpful. And I helped build it out. Right. You know, with Sean O'Byrne. And, um, and a lot of other people right. who are dear friends to this day, this experience brought us together. And right. like, these are people that I still roll with that are just capable of doing so much, right? right? It's a hard task, but you know, when you get up close to something, you can, you can understand it a lot better. Right. And you know, we've been trying to figure out what can be done about that for ever since I got into office it, or into, into a city council, you know, uh, what do you call it? whatever I was in the office. Right. Um, and so, you know, we were that we were fielding calls about that. That was the number one call that was coming in for the fourth district. I was like, this must be really be a problem. I'd like to do something about it. Right. And I was told it could be my pet project. So I was like, Oh, well, lucky for you. I love my pets. And so like, unlike him anyway, <laughs> and so like we, you know, I worked with a ton, I worked with everybody and you know, we, we, we were, I was heated about it. You know, I was like, how is this happening and how is nobody doing anything about it? And like, where's the will to figure this one out? This is a big problem. Right. right. And so there was a lot of will and we all kind of came together and yeah. we had opportunities to create what you would call like a refugee camp. Yeah. Where it's everybody has, you know, an ability to sleep out of the elements comfortably. Yeah. You know, there are ways to efficiently feed everybody with right. trash plans that make it to where the trash is not so prolific everywhere. Right. We, of course, would triage with, you know, mental health needs because they can't always stay in a general population. So you would just kind of look at it as far as from a safety standpoint right. and what's good for the people who are there, right. right? You don't want somebody who has huge anxieties around being around people to be in that. Yeah. We would could have an area where, hey, you can pop up your tent and kind of homestead out here because right. sometimes people need that, right? Yeah. And that's better than the alternative. And so this could be, a, we had so many different plots of land that had anyone really given a shit, we could have gotten one of them and done this. But right. it, you know, I heard every excuse from, and this is from the top, some of the top just ignored it. You know, they're like, eh, we know her with her ambitious bullshit. And I'm like, right. yeah, I'm on my bullshit looking, you know, why yeah. aren't you? Yeah. And so, and then some of the other folks were like, well, if this goes bad, we're going to look bad. So, and I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? Right. And we had dollars, we had, we had budgets, we had, we had, um, we had a supply chain with like soft bids. Really? And nobody well, nobody would pull the trigger on it. 
it's hard to get things done in office, right? Like it's hard mm, when you're elected. No, as it, it, you know, it's it's always hard. Yeah. But like I was unelected. Uh huh. When you're elected, it is a lot easier, especially if you like have some friends like me and you, mm -hmm. you know, that you might not agree with everything that they think, right. but like you've got some friends that you understand care about things right. and you work together and yeah. you don't act like, you know, it's just like, it's just, it's like, ugh. that's all. There's no word for it. It's yeah. an eye roll, right. you know? And so I just felt like we deserve better. The city deserves better. The fourth district deserves better. Right why are our standards not higher? Right. And so I went and talked about that my entire campaign, that we right. need to raise our standards. Right. And I, you know, I think few people listened. So it right. was, it felt good.